Hi, my name is Alparslan Ajarsoy, and I am the ambassador of Turkey to the WTO. I am also the new chair of the Committee on Agriculture in special session, having been appointed on 27th of January 2023. This committee is tasked with the responsibility of reforming agricultural trade rules and therefore has a significant responsibility to contribute to ensuring food security for all. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all WTO members for entrusting me with this important responsibility. Put simply, the broad objective of the agricultural negotiations is enabling families to put food on the table. The importance of the negotiations can therefore not be overemphasized, especially in the current global context. According to the World Food Program, a record 349 million people across 79 countries faced acute food insecurity in 2022. This represents an increase of about 200 million compared to pre-pandemic levels. Access to food is a fundamental right that no one should be deprived of. Trade plays an important role in ensuring global food security. Currently, trade helps feed one in six people on the planet, or 17% of humanity. This role is bound to increase as climate change affects agricultural productivity and production patterns worldwide. A rules-based, open, fair, predictable and resilient international trading system is therefore critical to ensure that food is produced in an economically and sustainably efficient way and that it reaches the people in need. However, trade rules require a fresh look in the light of current challenges. The agreement on agriculture is almost 30 years old and needs to be updated. It's true that there have been some important successes since its adoption in 1994. At the Nairobi Ministerial Conference in 2015, members agreed to eliminate export subsidies in agriculture, and this contributed to delivering on SDG 2 of Zero Hunger. More recently, at the 12th WTO Ministerial Conference in Geneva last June, members committed not to impose export restrictions on humanitarian food purchases by the World Food Program, and adopted a declaration on the emergency response to food insecurity. However, much more needs to be done to reform agricultural trade rules to ensure food security for all, alleviate poverty, support rural development, and move towards a more sustainable food system. As time is of the essence, immediately after my appointment as COAS chair, I began consulting with members on how we could make progress in the negotiations and achieve positive outcomes at MC13. It is evident from my initial discussions with members that they are very much committed to food security as part of the agricultural reform process and see this issue as a top priority for the 13th Ministerial Conference scheduled to take place in February 2024. Given that it's imperative that progress be made in the negotiations, I have decided to organize a series of seminars in the week of 27 March to start discussing substantive issues and explore how progress could be made in the negotiations. I have also invited members to engage with and listen to each other with a view to crafting compromises which could assist us to achieve positive outcomes at MC13. I am mindful of the challenges faced by small delegations and am committed to ensuring that the negotiations are transparent, inclusive and member-driven. Time is short and MC13 will not be the end of the journey. I am confident that WTO members will do their utmost and reach an agreement at MC13 in February 2024, which would represent a significant step forward in these negotiations. Building on the MC12 outcomes, we have a collective responsibility to update global agri agricultural trade rules so as to make a substantive contribution to ensuring global food security, especially in times of crisis such as these. On my part, I am committed working with all members to deliver on this crucial task.